Scott, everybody's favorite guru right here. And we're taking a look at the Nexus One and how to get an identical keyboard uh, such as the iPhone keyboard to work with Nexus One or any real Android 2 system. Uh, first, you'll want to go and get into the market, which is right here. And what you do is go up to the, sorry, I have to do this with one finger. Uh, you go up to the search Android market and just go smarter. Notebook key. Oops, you can't even see that. I hope you weren't seeing something you weren't supposed to. <laughs> Anyways, get yourself this app right here. Uh, smart keyboard right there and then basically I've already got the apps there's no need for me to download it anyway so I just go to my application installer which happens to be slide me and if you want the application installer it's a pretty neat little utility from slide me dot org okay here we go let's go to the option that allows you to install a program from your SD card which is where I save my .apk files. The name of the file that uh, we got was the Smart Keyboard Program. So you click that, and it's going to tell you something to this effect. Can we read that? Okay. Basically, I'm going to be installing another application over whatever I'm doing, and I'm not going to do that because I've already got it installed, but you hit OK. And basically that's it for that portion okay let's go up back to the uh, portrait mode here on the video camera and I'll give you an example of what that keyboard looks like when you compose an email so let's say we're going to compose an email and look at that keypad Isn't that pretty amazing and there's a lot of options by the way first off you can uh, have the sound and the vibration and everything else uh, emulate basically what the keyboard the key actually the iPhone doesn't have that vibrating feature at least uh, with the uh, the stock keyboard I'm not sure if there's an add-on to make it available but this one allows you even to set the duration of the vibration but you know I'll be quiet for a second as I just type here And anybody who knows anything about the iPhone knows that's the sound that it makes. Anyway, there's also a lot of other keyboards that are actually built into this. And let's get out of this. I hit the wrong button. Um, let's pop that back up. Delete everything in that line. And then you hold down right there. You hold down wherever the keyboard would be used. Oops. Our Nexus one fell down. Okay. And when you do that, you come up with a screen that says input method, and you click the input method, and you would select the smarter keyboard, and that's exactly how we did it. Now, the interesting part about it is in the actual control panel of the keyboard, which you get to by going into the settings menu, which is right there, and you basically will scroll this thing down until you get to the phone and the keyboard or language and keyboard in this case that is enabled over there and then the killer thing is all these settings that you have just for this keyboard I mean it's crazy it's really really crazy I mean the skin is the neatest thing right there you basically have all the choices in the world of what kind of keyboard you want to use the HTC stock which is probably their sense keyboard and then you can see the different color uh, coordinations or if you just want the regular Android they'll let you do that too and uh, there's transparency and, and all sorts of interesting things it's a really really neat application I suggest that you get it if you're like me and just uh, really like the feel of what the iPhone keyboard is like and don't like the feel of what the Android keyboard is like did I say that right? 
I don't like the way the Android keyboard is like, so I get something that is like the iPhone keyboard. There we go. Okay. Ugh, just a little buzz. Sorry about that, folks. Anyway, uh, that's really about it. So you're looking at a pretty cool device right now. This is just a stock, uh, not stock actually, it is rooted, but the screen itself, there's nothing that's out of the ordinary as far as the launcher. I haven't installed any apps uh, besides that. So it's a rooted phone, but uh, it's, it's not a situation where you install this program and you actually need a rooted phone to do so. So there you have it. Um, it's a great keyboard application and again real quickly you go into the market and you come up here and you type in or probably even remember it smarter key and down here there's smart the keyboard and that's the free version and the one we're installing here is probably way down there because people aren't paying for it <laughs> it's the one with pro and I'm not exactly sure uh, the differences between the two but I have to imagine that at least the skins are going to be intact and stuff like that. So there you go. Back home and signing off. Thanks for watching. And uh, hope you bring your iPhone keypad to your Android very soon. Oh, and by the way, this does also work with several different, um, like the landscape mode, for instance. You can go and... We'll do the same thing as we did before, which is uh, Compose. And if you flip the phone over, it goes into, I'll turn the camera around so you can see it, into a landscape mode where, yes, you basically have what an iPhone looks like in landscape mode. But I hate to tell you, we're on Android. <laughs> so... Anyway, there's a lot of selectable things, uh, the T9 keyboard input and a compact version, all sorts of great stuff. And there's that little thing right there, if you can see it, that's a little voice uh, key, allow you to uh, select your words uh, with your voice. Not sure how good that is, but anyway, thanks again for watching, take care. Oh, my blog is uh, blog zipsmusic.com I haven't updated it in a while but check it out bye